Um, hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we are going to do a quick review of Bragi Dash headphones. Headphones from the most successful European campaign. Um, so that's the box where the headphones and the charging point is stored. Um, it's actually quite cool because the box is kind of a book as well. Uh, so I'll show you in a second when you open it it's it's basically got like a book's pages um it better have <laughs> for 249 um quid headphones so all those pages explain everything about the braggy dash the company the headphones themselves truly wireless headphones um it does not explain well a couple of fun facts like the brand has been funded by nikolai feed um, who is an ex-designer of Harman and Carden, so here you go, you've got some legacy um, in here. Uh, back to the packaging though, uh, you get five, they call it sleeves, basically it's those earbuds that you put um, inside your ear, uh, that comes in a package. Apart from that, uh, you get the wireless case, the cover for the case, and uh, the charging lead. So how this basically works, I'll show you in a second. So that's the, uh -huh. <laughs> well done to me. Um, that's basically the wireless charging case that has two magnets inside together with the headphones. So the headphones are um, connected by a magnet to the case itself. That's the charging port. So that's where you connect the charger, uh, the, uh, sorry, the micro USB lead. So you charge the case, then you unplug it and the case itself charges the headphones so it works kind of like a portable power bank or pow portable uh, power charger. So that's the headphone itself. Um, you can't listen only on one headphone. You have to have both headphones in your ears um, to listen to music. Um, in terms of specs, the headphones support uh, digital noise cancelling. Um, they do support a fitness tracker, uh, so they, they are equipped with a fitness tracker, they are equipped with a personal coach uh, that tells us when we reach certain goals and it does have a built-in 4 gigabyte MP, uh, 4 gigabyte internal storage plus an mp3 player uh, which allows you to store music on the headphones themselves. Yeah, that's the um, very quite short um, micro USB lead. Um, in here we've got five different sizes of the earbuds, usually you get three in a box uh, with any in-ear headphones. In here you've got five sizes, so medium, extra small, extra large, small, um, etc, etc. Um, apart from that you've got obviously a couple of leaflets and surprise, surprise, Apple style stickers. Yeah. So you get a couple of stickers, actually more than a couple, um, which you can, if you'd like to, you can put on your, um, I don't know, car, case, phone, whatever. Um, uh, the headphones are truly wireless. So what it means, it means that they are not connected at all between each other. Um, and basically uh, they are fully waterproof up to one meter as well. In order to connect them, I did have struggle a bit. In order to connect them, you have to download the Bragi app. Then you put the left ear earpiece in your left ear, uh, surprise, and you have to press and hold the button for it to start to go into Bluetooth mode. And that's where I thought um, that it's going to pair with the app where um, in reality, you have to go back to your Bluetooth settings and pair the headphones via Bluetooth settings. It is a bit of a hassle. Uh, you don't expect that in 249 quid um, headphones that you have to uh, fiddle with the app, with the Bluetooth uh, on your phone on its own. And 20 minutes later, uh, we've got the headphones connected. Uh, that's what I actually thought. So. They show that they are connected, but they are connected to the app. They are not connected to your phone. <laughs> oh my God, yes, exactly. Um, in here, if you want to, you can transfer some music. You can turn or on or off the noise cancelling. Um, if you'd like to, you can set up different profiles. 
Ähm, ja. Where am I now? <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, I'm trying to listen to some music. Um, 30 seconds of mass, but that didn't work. As you can see, uh, in the Bluetooth it shows the headphones are not connected, but the app says they are connected. So that's a bit of an annoying part, but I did work it out in the end. And here we are coming back to getting back to the app. Um, so apart from that, uh, the headphones themselves are up, uh, totally touch operated, so you don't uh, have any buttons. It's just like um, a touch button. The headphone actually itself is a um, touch button. Uh, you've got to use a manual, um, which could have come a bit handy when I was setting it up for the first time. You also can do an update on the headphones, however you do require a computer to um, update the headphones. You have to download a certain file. Um, so again, a bit of a hassle. And yeah, here we are back in the settings. Um, you can change the volume if you'd like to, audio transparency. And now the sound quality isn't that good. I wasn't blown away uh, considering the price of the headphones. Uh, but I do love the idea so that they are ab absolutely wireless and you can charge them with a case, they are waterproof and so on. So as you could see, you can run, jump, swim, whatever you'd like to with the Branky Dash headphones and they do not fall off out of your ear. Now that's the funny part where it shows that they are not connected to the app, but the headphones are connected to the Bluetooth, which means I can actually listen to some music finally. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, quick expert review and see you next time.